we have Hurley and um, he's a very exuberant uh, border collie that has like beautiful side gait. And his issue is that he doesn't want us to see it. He kind of wants to scram scramble a little bit in the ring. But more importantly than that, he keeps checking back at the handler to see what the handler is doing. And that really throws off his movement, throws off his top line. Um, throws off his front movement, definitely. Throws off the proper head carriage that when he is paying attention, he has. It also seems to me in like the very short amount of time that I've known him, that as soon as he does those things, he pitches his tail a little bit, right? So then we have higher tail carriage than we would like. And these are all things that I think if we saw Hurley running in the field, we wouldn't see. Structurally, he's a beautiful dog on his own. He moves beautifully. He just wants to anticipate everything that we're doing. And so we have to handle him to combat those issues. So for me, in kind of order is his head carriage. I think once we get his head carriage, not looking up at the handler all the time, we're going to correct a lot of things. We're going to correct that front movement. We're gonna correct his top line. We're gonna make him look like the beautiful Border Collie that he is. So how did I get him to not look at me? One of my favorite ways was by giving him a large piece of bait to chew on so that he's more concentrating on chewing on the bait, doesn't care about me, and is looking straight ahead. And you can see in the demo, that did work. It also worked when we let him carry a toy. Um, he carried his head in the right place, his top line was beautiful, his reach was beautiful, but both of those things, maybe if I had to do them as a quick fix, um, because he was distracted by something in the best in show ring and I wanted to invest in show. Um, I would do those as a quick fix, but I think as something that's consistent, that isn't a method that would work for Hurley. Have we had that work with other dogs for their entire career? Absolutely. So the one thing that has been consistent so far today is collar placement. So um, we're showing him on a slip collar and uh, typically um, we would show like with a slip collar, we'd have it on so that it's like slipping towards the handler, right? So this is the way that we would put it on him if we were stay, putting it on the correct way, right? So it's slipping and releasing towards the handler. However, to get the head carriage that we want, we're gonna put it on, which many um, dog show people would call backwards. Just now this has a little loop in it. Do, 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 do. Um, so we're gonna put it on backwards. So we're gonna put it on like this. We're still gonna keep it really high up under his neck. Like that is crucial for most dogs when we're trying to correct what they're doing on the trot. Then we're going to put it under his neck and like kind of let it catch on the off show side, right? So we're gonna let it catch there. We're gonna bring the collar instead of up towards the handler to the other side. Why is this? So then when he wants to look at me on the move, I have control to pull his head back the other way. Um, so we're gonna do that. And then we're just gonna show you how that works. Also notice that I don't wanna hold my hand up high. Maybe if I was showing a toy breed, a terrier, maybe even an Afghan or a poodle that I really wanted that really upright head carriage, I'd hold my hand high. I'm gonna hold my hand down low because my arm is going to be a lever. And if my arm is out straight, that means he can reach as much as this. If I'm holding my arm up, that is going to go down the lead and actually shorten how much he can reach forward. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start using my arm to control him. And then as he goes faster and faster, he's a herding dog with a big, beautiful side gate. I'm going to let the leash out, but I start by letting my arm out first. So here we go. I always like to, so first thing I'm doing is putting the leash over on my side, letting it catch, taking it back on the other side, the show side of his head, gathering the leash in my hand. I always like to be like, ready, ready, ready. Like ready, ready is to me telling him we are about to do something. I don't want to just start trotting. I want him to know that's what we're doing and he's paying attention. Ready, ready, ready? Ready, ready, ready? Nope. Good boy. Good boy, that was good. Now you can see because his head was in the right place, so was his tail. He didn't pitch his tail, right? When we were practicing earlier and I didn't have control of his head, my arm was up, his tail was also up. Good boy. 
Good boy. So you can even see now, right? He wants to carry his tail high because, you know, I'm not really making him do anything, work in a proper manner, like he is a working dog after all. Good boy. So one more time. Good boy. Nah. Ready, 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 ready? Ready? Good boy! Hey everyone, thanks for watching today's video. Please leave us a comment below, let us know what you thought, and as well, if you have any ideas for future content that you'd like to see, you can put them down there as well. You can head over to leadingedgedogshowacademy.com where you can find our free, premium, and subscription content, and we'd love to have you join us there. As well, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on those notifications. That way you never miss another free video tutorial. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.